Hey guys, welcome in, welcome back. I, ooh, oh, his knees are tender today. All right, I really, really hope that you have went out and made this part of your life and your repertoire. Um, not only for fitness, even if you're just doing just the stretch um, stuff with us, please make this part of your life. Get yourself a foam rollers, uh, hard and soft so that you can relax yourself, decompress yourself, and just live with your, uh, so that you are always upright and that you are always ergonomically sitting correct, lying correct. Um, everything that you're doing, you wanna be standing correctly. Um, you wanna make sure that everything is going, uh, being in the right position. We're gonna decompress and roll out our backs today. So I'm gonna lose the shoes. We're gonna get to our back. Um, upper and lower because a lot of times we can't even get to a lot of the stretches, a lot of the things that I ask of your body um, without the body being in alignment. So um, we can put the body in alignment through stretch and we can also put the body in alignment um, through the foam roller. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be aligning the back, neck and um, shoulders with the foam roller. And traditionally, I almost always get started with the heart, the, the, the one that I call the, it kind of gets the skeletal line. What I want to do today is, because the body is cold and we're just fresh, we're going to start with the muscle, okay? We're going to wait till we get to the skeletal and then we'll come back. We'll go soft, hard, soft, okay? Because there's going to be some residual left over. So let's move this out of the way. And it's a little bit different starting with the, soft one, we can kind of go into things a little bit quicker um, because this is all of the soft tissue stuff right here. And I wish there was a way to roll out my knee right now, to be honest with you. You can't actually roll out your knee. Actually, you can. And if you get one of these foam rollers, I highly suggest that you use the edges first before you get into um, using the uh, center of it, just because the center it's gonna wear down really quick. And then, it's on, and then you're gonna have these firm edges in a, a lull in the middle. So I like to really work the edges, especially when I'm doing things like loosening the glutes, like we're loosening the glutes right now. Just back and forth on the glutes. What this is gonna do is people fail to realize when you get a massage, we always miss in asking for that. Always, always ask for your glutes. It is the largest muscle in the body. And if it's relaxed, the lower back is relaxed, the hamstring is relaxed. So it's imperative that the glute stays relaxed. So we're gonna roll the glute out right now. You can feel that as you roll the glute out, you can feel all the knots that you don't even know you have going on in there. Not only that, you can feel the tension in your back when you're rolling it out. Like it's building the tension in your back. And the simple fact is that that's where a lot of it the relaxation lines in that glute. So I'm gonna slide over to the other side just to keep it balanced. You gotta take care of your equipment too. And for that glute, you need the hard, heavy, deep tissue one because it just goes over these. That, that mu the glutes are so muscular that they, uh, they need some deep tissue done. All right, Whew. let's take some of that tightness off of our back that we've had all day. So just imagine you've been in, you well, not imagine if you're doing this with me, you've been sitting at work all day like I have, going back and forth, moving all around. But before I even start to relax and stretch the back, I'm gonna use the foam roller today for everything. All right, a lot more involuntary, it's a lot more relaxing. Um, we can't use it every single day, but um, if you, unless you have, you're going through issues and you're doing some rehab, then absolutely you can. But for most of us, probably two to three times a week, um, it's going to do it. And then other than that, we should be stretching and hopefully trying to stay as uh, upright as we can. But if you need to get that body acclimated, then you can absolutely roll out every day. When I'm going through anything and rehabbing myself, I might do it two, three times a day. Oh, I'm just going get to get that back. Holding it. You see me holding it? I just want to get that back used to. Oh, that's so tight. Just holding myself in the position. 
forcing the back to relax right now by putting that tension on there because the back doesn't want to relax. You will not get any result. So putting that muscle in there, putting that data in the body, in the, in the memory right now, saying, hey, I'm going to be, ah, oh, so tight. Oh, just left to right. Oof. That is so tight. Mm. Oh. Now we're going to try that again once we roll out because that is scary, scary stretch tight right there. All right, let's get that lower back. Oh, right there, right at the lower back. See, I pulled it in right at the top of my hip girdle, right before we get to the skeleton of the hip. Right there, I'm holding myself up with my hands right here, holding myself up, and then I'm gonna let all my weight go. Oh, big releases on the left. <sighs> go back, I'm gonna stay isolated right there. I want all of this release. I'm focusing more on the right now. Oh, you guys had to have heard those two big ones. A lot of pressure off now. Oh, man, symphony. Oh. Just relax. It is a little bit of ab work. And when we relax, we're right there on the thoracic, right below our shoulder blades. Just above our shoulder blades. Oh. And relax in the position. The chest is open. Hands out. Oh. Draw my core in right now to put even pre more pressure on my lower back through my chest. So every time I draw my core in, Put more pressure on my back. Oh, excellent to get that extra counterbalance for the for the thoracic. Now that the lower has been released, I'm going to go over it again and roll up to the thoracic and start looking for release there and alignment. That should not say release alignment there. And through alignment, we get release. That was beautiful. Oh, now I'm just working. Just the middle, just the thoracic. Yeah, I'm going to draw my hands in. Oh. Yep. Rolling right over the shoulder blade from the bottom of the shoulder blade to the top of the shoulder blade. Rounding my back and then arching. <sighs> Extremely successful. All that pressure has been pushed up. Now we have to disperse of it throughout the shoulder. That's why we bring it to the elbow and we release. Understand what we're doing. We're pushing because we're not, unfortunately, we, we can't massage ourselves. <laughs> so we can't stand at the top of our shoulder and work all of the pressure down throughout our hips and down through our legs, okay, to disperse it. So by having to roll out, everything goes up. We up, 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 up. We're pushing all the compression up, 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 elongating the spine up. When we get to the shoulders, that's why it's imperative when we get here and we're rolling out the neck, the top of the lumbar, I mean the top of the thoracic, that we get the hands right above the head bent about this degrees. So now everything is pushing out, out into the elbow. And I'm telling you that I learned this from the chiropractor. And you've seen me do it. I don't know how many, up ten times. When I get there, big release. All right, alignment through there. All right. So let's do that. Oh. But it feels amazing to have the. Now let's try that again. Let's try this. Remember we were here. I was ooh ah ooh ah. Let's try it now. Oh, look at that, all the way down, all the way down. I can even arch all the way down all right that's the significance and i've done nothing you didn't see me stretch 
That is what the, that's what the back being out of alignment can do. It can lessen your range of motion. It'll change your posture. So rolling out, that's why we did this one first. And I just wanted to show you the benefits of that. I'm walking, breathing, and that's no exaggeration. That is the honest truth right there. That is keeping it 200 with you guys. Because literally, I was in this position, right? I came down, I was like, oh, <laughs> still tight. Oh. But absolutely manageable. Oh, look at that. Now I want to I want to roll out in that position. That feels amazing. Now come on, what else can you do to get that kind of reward for for yourself, and being you doing it completely yourself? <clears throat> All right, no assist from anyone else. Just knowing how to use this simple simple piece of equipment to your major major advantage. All right, it's nothing but a big old ball of foam. All right, I'm gonna move it up to the shoulder blades so we can start moving into the thoracic, I mean the upper thoracic here. Getting everything acclimated first. See how I'm slowly moving up the spine, going a little bit higher each time, breaking that muscle down. Hands are still bent, I'm not extending yet because I'm gonna wait until all of this is broken down. And then I'll extend my hands when I start right on the neck. All right, perfect. See me going to the left and to the right, getting in between the shoulder blade. I literally can feel like I have more range of motion here. Now we go into the neck. I'm showing you guys how to do this. I'll move the hat for you. So we roll all the way up. We get right underneath the shoulders. You see what I have braced under here? It's not just the neck alone. My shoulder is literally against, against the foam roller itself. So when I come up and I lift my pelvis, my shoulder is holding about 85% of my weight which it easily can, shoulders are super strong, easily holding my weight right here. And then only about 20% of it, it's on my neck. All right, and rolling it out. And the entire time I do that, by the time I get up and roll up over onto the top of the foam roller, almost all of the, the pressure is on my shoulders here, my upper shoulders, all right? And then we roll from the shoulder to the top of the cranium, to the bottom of the cranium, the base of the cranium. All right, make sure we got enough room here for rolling out. Oh, this is going to be amazing. So a little left to right. And for a lot of us, we're going to feel so much tension here when we're doing this, just this alone is challenging. But whatever you feel here now, once we roll this out and we decompress, I mean, align the neck, I want you to try this again and tell me if you have any Sensation, tuck it a little bit more. There we go, hands come over. Now those shoulders, the reason why you get that, you get all the pressure just first at the shoulder. Look where the shoulders are right now. Now I'm only about, probably holding about 10% of the weight on my actual neck. About 90% of it is throughout my shoulders and uh, the length of my shoulders and then the actual shoulder itself. All right, so I come up, all that support, not looking for alignment yet. Elongating, coming down, burying my chin into my chest, just through range of motion. Setting myself up for real success here. I can feel it moving my shoulders forward. That's why you're able to release through your elbows. I'm literally pushing my shoulders forward. I can't elongate my arms, so I'm gonna stop there and reset. Oh, I can feel my shoulders. That is amazing, I love that. That's like probably my favorite part, except for the lower back. 
thoracic, middle thoracic is okay. It's probably the hardest, but it's, for me, it's not the most rewarding. This, releasing my shoulders, putting my shoulders back in alignment. Oh man, that's the best. Because you literally feel them shift. So line my neck up again, make sure it's right underneath there. See how I'm moving with it? I'm not bringing my body away from the foam roller yet. I'm using all parts for support. And every time I come out right here, my shoulders are literally being pushed forward. They almost feel like they're being like uh, adjusted in the socket with all the support. And now I'm going to start to release and align the neck. And you'll notice the way it switches. Watch the way. See how I'm engulfing the foam roller right now with my whole entire upper body, my neck and shoulders. Now, as I roll, I'm going to roll away from it. And you see me dropping my hip. So what I'm doing is it's not enough weight. I only have the weight of my shoulders and my head in order for me to align my, my shoulders and my neck. So I need to drop my pelvis to get that weight. It's not a jarring movement. It just brings pressure to the upper body. It's not jarring. Everything is supported and I just drop the hip. That's it create that weight, right? When you get over the position, I'm in between my shoulder blade and the left, the right shoulder blade is dropped right now. So right there, drop, 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 drop. Oh. Literally can feel my shoulders being pushed forward. I mean, push back, if they rotate forward. That's where we get that rounding of the back. This is the line of pushing back. And now I'm gonna look for the release in the shoulder, I mean, in the elbow. Only on the right. Okay, now we got a lot of the Oh, we got a lot of our flexibility back just through that, okay? Just through rolling out. Now, we're going to go skeletal for more alignment. Then we'll come back and clean it up with the soft tissue again. See, this doesn't have the give. And this makes that spine curve around it as opposed to this, it curving around the spine. Oh. What I'm doing here is I'm crossing just at the feet, way at the bottom, like only crossing just at the feet. And then I'm stretching back, holding this, arching over. And what it's doing is it's causing each hip to lift into position for it to be stretched. Go ahead and start crossing the other one over. Right over left this time. First was left over right. Ooh. Oh. If you've never done this stretch before, you would be amazed on how significant it is. Just to have, oh, just to have that leg crossed over. Now you're talking about true alignment. That was it. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna do a rollout with the foot crossed, just like that. And down. Whew. Amazing. It doesn't get much truer than that. I, if I could, I mean, I don't know if I need to get a, a stack of Bibles or something, guys, but I am so serious. I literally felt the pressure come off when the spine was, you know, slightly off to the left or to the right, and it just went back. And you can feel that pressure and that blood flow um, restart 
it is really, really amazing what this little thing can do when used correctly. Now we release the legs. Set us up again. Arch over right at the top of the hip girdle. I'm literally on the bone of the hip right now. Both feet are flapped out to the side. And I'm holding myself up, elongating that spine before I let go, straighten the feet back out. Hip release just right there by straightening the feet. Come on down, keep those feet forward. Mm. Your body wants you to turn them out so bad. Do not keep those feet together, oh, facing each other. Now place them down. Oh, man. Whoa. You can feel that pressure now with that alignment. All those tendons and ligaments aligning themselves right now, shooting up the back down into the glutes right now. The glutes have so much more blood in them now that they're alive. Oh, all right. And release it down. You thought you had released everything when you were with the other roller, right? Oh. Not till you get to this one. Do you realize how much? Now you see I'm able to make four movements. All the way up to the neck in one movement. All right. Oh my goodness, guys. <sighs> Rolling through the entire three different segments that we break down, right? Now we come back for the last one. It's kind of like, if you, have you ever wa washed and waxed a car before? Or if you've done your nails or got your feet done, they file them down first. First they take all the dead skin off, right? That's what we're kind of doing, getting rid of all the, the excess. Then we get into alignment and then refinement and this is the refining right here this is the buffing this is the shining oh. see that little bit of last bit of yes bring it way under there oh. getting every last oh. Now we're right on the hip girdle. Look at how, how we can do this now. Both hip uh, bones are pointing straight up. The feet are turned out. We're gonna turn the feet in. And does that even bother us right now? A little bit when the feet are touching and crossing over like this. You can always feel which side of the hip or the glute is tightest when you're doing that. You'll always pull on one side more than the other. Now full roll out. Hands to top the head first until we get to the upper thoracic.
All right. <sighs> Hope I didn't make that look too easy. Cause it's really easy to veer off to one side, not to keep your uh, your foam roller right in the center of your mat or wherever you're going. Kind of, you start on one side, next thing you know, you turn like this and you lose. Oh man, that is just the best thing going. As far as aligning yourself without any assistance, just you. And the beautiful thing about it is, is you get really good at this. You can start tweaking and rolling yourself out in this position here. I do this quite a bit. Um, because what it does is it gets in between my shoulder blades, right? Because when we're doing it, we're rolling over the shoulder blades. So if you're having a lot of tension in between the shoulder blades, the tension in the neck is like really significant. You can turn it this way, sit on it here, and come down. Right? And work your shoulder, work in between your shoulder blades like this. So if you have those knots right on the edge, on the inside of your shoulder blade, which we all do, this is a great way of supporting yourself completely to get in between there, just like that. And if you want a little more weight, you can dangle your head off of the top of the, the roller, but this is gonna get you in between your shoulders right here. And even if you don't have tension, this is a great way of preventative medicine so that you don't get those knots and you put your arms down. It's like as if you're, oh, I got something right there. Um, it's as if you're sitting in the your normal position and now you're rolling out any potentials. All right, guys, turn your head to one side and you can isolate. Ooh, you can isolate. I mean, you if this thing will allow you to get pretty. I mean, pretty good in under that shoulder blade. Sit on top of it. You can get really almost underneath it with this position here. And turn your head the opposite direction. Which way? Oh, that way. This way. And get into that shoulder. Yep. Whew. It's pretty impressive how how detailed it can really get. It can really get into like a, a massage thing if you really take your time with it. But I tell you that you could get rid of, you could actually get rid of some of your own knots. And just putting your head in this position here, oh, and dropping your hand down, ha ha ha, is really a great way for you to open your shoulder. Or right, if you have any neck issues, this position right here, when you come home, you won't, you won't after all, and you get used to doing this and start to bring your elbow down, you can just rotate and move your shoulder just like that. that right there alone is amazing. I really forgot I had to look at this on my recap for this. The other side. Ah. Ah. It's amazing. Ah. All right, guys. Also airpiece. All right. So that is going to do it for us in learning and one more way to get in between those shoulder blades with your foam roller. I mean, you'd see me literally come in here with the scary stretch with my hips so tight that I couldn't stack my knees and bring them left to right. Do that, that's gonna be the test. That's gonna be the test. If you follow my ways of rolling out and doing each um, section of the body separately, and then try the stack knee left to right test, but be do it before and then do it after. So pre and post. And let me know if just by rolling out has released your lower back enough for you to be able to lay your feet. Not completely down, but be able to move your feet, at least your legs at least stacked. Because for a lot of us, a lot of us can't get the feet down regardless. Um, just because the range of motion, we don't have that much flexibility as of yet. But go ahead and use that as a kind of your template, if you will, um, for, uh, or your marker, I should say, not a template, your marker um, for your flexibility, all right, when doing the rollout. All right, guys, that's enough of me and my foam rollers. I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.